Hi, my name's Paige. Welcome to my channel. Sorry for the sketchy lighting and also for the fact that I don't have any makeup on, but today we are heading to Philly and I wanted to film this intro while I was still home. I do have to leave in the next like three minutes, so this will be quick, but I'm hoping that when we get into Philly, tonight we're going to see a concert, Amberlin. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, they're like a Christian rock band. More rock than Christian, I guess, but they're Christian inspired. I don't know. We're gonna go see that, and I'm hoping to go hit up some literary places. I've, he I've heard there's something to do with Edgar Allan Poe, and I do want to go to the library. We'll see if that happens, because we are kind of late, but we'll be there tomorrow, too. So I'll be vlogging the whole time, and I'm hoping to get some shots on the road uh, when we're heading into the city. I'll show you the Airbnb we're staying at. Um, I'll give you a tour of that, uh, and I'll just take you around Philly with me, because this is my first time, so... Okay. So I will see you in a little bit. Bye. So we're in the Airbnb, um, we saw some pictures of this online, but it's really, it, the pictures don't really give it justice, I'm, I'm guessing, kind of. It's much smaller than I thought it was, which I guess pictures can do that sometimes, but it's very artsy, really appreciate all the red accents here. There's also a really tiny dining room excuse the tons of snacks here and chicken sorry but there's tons of um art a very nice chandelier there i think this is a shared patio but this is locked and i'm not going to try to open that because a i don't see myself sitting out there and b i don't want to make someone mad so anywho there is a big tv and a fireplace and there is a basement and in the basement, there is a kitchen. It is a very tiny kitchen. Super cute. I have to be honest, when I first came down here, I was actually in awe. Like, it feels like a tiny hobbit house. Like, so, hold on, let me switch this around. So this is me in this room, and I am about five foot, and my head is not that far away from the ceiling. So as you can tell, very, very small. So, got all the regular amenities. You have like a little bar here, um, fridge. There's some like leftover stuff in the fridge, which is cool, but I, I don't think I'll be using um, whoever's salsa. There's this cute little window. You can look up into that shared kind of courtyard. Super cute little thing. I'm not sure what this is. This is like a little closet, I guess, but it's definitely locked, so. It's probably haunted, but it's fine. Anyway, got a nice little microwave. Have some snacks over here. Probably eat some of this because I'm really, really hungry. Coffee maker, stove. I really like the stove. It's like tabletop, really nice. And back here in this creepy little door, like right when you come down this staircase, is the uh, laundry room. Yeah, super scary back here. Even darker in person than it appears to be on the camera. So that's cool. Probably not gonna be doing any laundry in the single day that we stay here, but good to have. Oh, and this little crawl space here too. It's a little tiny. Some shampoo and stuff in there. Kinda. You know, 
Now, when I call this place creepy, I'm not really like saying it's bad creepy because I kind of enjoy a little bit of creepiness. I kind of enjoy that it's super old, but just to give a heads up. So now we're gonna go upstairs. There are, I guess including the basement, there would be four floors. So let's go up here. These, as you can tell, these the staircase is super, the steps are really small and it's very crickety. Okay, so we're up here on the third floor and this is, <laughs> hi Troy. Hi. This is the first bedroom. Has kind of like an African theme, sort of. Lots of Ikea furniture here. I like the, I'm out of breath. <sighs> but some elephants to make you feel better about the fact that you're staying in a haunted house. It's me, hello, let's go away. All right, so. This is the closet, pretty standard closet, I guess. I don't know, walk-in, so that's nice. I find it funny that there's a walk-in closet in a house that is like <laughs> as big as me. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Cute little cupboard. It's not too small considering how small the house is and there's a nice like half bath, half shower going on here little pantry here or you know covered with towels and vacuum in case you need it that's super nice yeah dig in this all right now time to go to the last floor like I said these steps are super tiny have to be careful there's bars here to hold on to so you don't die but look at that step that is a super boat step all right Hi, Troy. Sorry. All right, so this is the final floor. This is this floor only has a bedroom in it, so that's where I came up from. I'll just do like a little pan. That closet is definitely from Ikea because I saw it there when I went. This bed frame is definitely from Ikea. Troy's from Ikea. <laughs> and, you know, nice little, there's a fireplace in this room too. You can just tell how old it is. I, like, I don't know. I actually don't know what this is. I feel like it's a, like a laundry chute, maybe? I don't know. This is locked. I am scared of locked doors. That's where, that's where the demon from the conjuring comes from. You know, that's what I'm thinking, honestly. Demon. Obviously, there's a demon in there. Yeah. But anywho, that was the house. We. I am going to go get ready now because I've been a mess for far too long. Sorry for the background noise the fan is going because it's literally... 100 degrees in here. So the concert we're going to, like I said before, is for a band called Anberlin, and that doesn't start until I think eight o'clock, and it is five five o'clock now. So I have to put my makeup on, and then probably by the time I'm done with that, we might go get something to eat and then go to the concert. But anyway, I'm going to put my makeup on quickly because we need to get to dinner uh, before the concert. But I'm gonna put this on and then we will meet back up when we go to dinner. By the way, I thought I'd let you know what I packed to read on this trip. I brought with me I'm Traveling Alone by I think Samuel Bork and Still House Lake. I'll insert a picture of those two. You might have seen in my haul I picked up Still House Lake, so I'm really excited about reading that. I'm really on a mystery thriller kick because I'm also in the process of reading The Girl on the Train, and I'm super actually impressed because I kind of, when mystery novels especially get too popular, I'm kind of like iffy about it and like, okay, why is this popular? Like, it does it, should it be popular or is it just because, like, I don't know. But this, this one is genuinely really good and I'm really enjoying it so far, so in my wrap up, I'll be excited to talk about that. Oh, and I finally finished The Diviners by Libba Bray, so that'll be talked about this month.
guess I don't even need to cut my pork chop. Okay, so we just finished eating dinner at the Twisted Tail. It's reviewed to be like the best in the area and it is very good. Very, very Portions good. are pretty small though, but that's kind of better for me because I feel like everything in America is super sized and I'm always like left with leftovers. Yeah. Like a ridiculous amount, so actually and, pretty nice. And anything that's upper uh, you know, price levels, it's actually because it's incredible quality. Like the it pork is chop really I good got. quality. Incredible quality. Yeah. Pork chop if you go there. Best pork chop I've ever had. Yeah, the um, pork chop. Also the what is it called? The mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Crawfish yeah. mac Crawfish and cheese. Crawfish mac and cheese. It's like lobster mac that and cheese, good. but better. But better. Yeah. yeah. So. so good now stuff so far. we're gonna go to the concert at the what's it called? Theater of the Living Arts. Yes. Theater, oh, theater of Living Arts. Of, living of the Living Arts. Something like that. Something here is living. Probably the arts. Probably the <laughs> arts. I'm gonna say the arts are living. Okay. Well, that's where we're going. So. I will film maybe a little bit in there. I'm not sure if they allow photography or anything like that, videography, but I'll try to film a little bit in there. All right, let's, we're gonna cross the street and do it without talking so we don't die. Okay. Change. Yeah. Hey guys, this is us post um, concert. Really good. Oh no, don't cover yourself up. Sweating. So Look. we're walking the streets of Philly. I can't hear anything. Yeah, I'm I can barely sure. hear myself talking to you, so I'm sorry if I sound really weird. Pretty sure my really tinnitus weird. has tinnitus. Nice. During the concert, I was talking to Paige, and she turned to me and asked me if I was talking with a funny accent. And I was like, we're gonna head back to the Airbnb now. I'm gonna shower, probably. And probably. I'm probably gonna read, I guess, because there's not much else we can do for tonight, I'm pretty sure. But if there is, then, Same here. then I I'm guess reading, we. I'm reading Morningstar. So, all my, all my mini Troy fans out there, <laughs> last time I was reading Golden Sun, I made it to the third book. I did it. Pierce Brown, guys. I know how to read. Super great. Crazy. Anywho, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Okay, I almost tripped on that rock and died. Bye. <laughs> so we're back at the Airbnb now, and um, we're both very tired. Honestly, extremely gross feeling. Great concert, but it was at least what 100 degrees in there. It was, we were like sardines, like marinating. <laughs> what? That was a very specific. Because we were, comparison. we were stinky, and we, we were, were sardines. In... Yeah. Well, anyway. So I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow because we found out that the Edgar Allan Poe house is closed on every day except every day, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of the Did weekend. Did you say it's Edgar Allan closed? I mean, everything else that I was thinking about going to see is open. It just depends on which places we can hit up with the most ease because parking honestly in any city is a nightmare, but Philadelphia is, it is a parking nightmare it is indeed. A nightmare. So I'm gonna take this makeup off, gonna hopefully get my hearing back, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Yay! Okay, so it is the next morning. It is actually not morning anymore. I think it's probably about noon, so. Like I said before, the Edgar Allan Poe house is not open today, so we can't go see that, but there is a bookstore close to here, and there's also a little oddities store or something that I saw when we were coming in that I want to go visit, so I'm gonna see that, and then hopefully get a Philly cheesesteak.
So when we were leaving Philadelphia, I was a little bit disappointed about the fact that I didn't get to see a lot of literary places, especially the Edgar Allan Poe house. But as we were leaving, I remembered that a place called Baldwin's Book Barn exists in Westchester, Pennsylvania, which is only about like 45 minutes outside of Philadelphia. So we decided to take a little trip here. I think most of that time was spent in traffic, so it really isn't that much of a distance. So if you live in or around Philadelphia, even if you just live in Pennsylvania, even if you just live in America, <laughs> go to this place. It's really awesome. So I'm going to show you around there. Here's that footage. <laughs> so they've been selling books since 1946. Uh, like that door behind you and the hallway, everything. That door is original. Oh, wow. Uh, right over there is if there's maps. So the second floor and the third floor, you'll definitely need the maps because there's a lot there's that's cool. There's that's a lot so of cool. rooms, and there's bathroom down the hall on the left, men's and ladies' room. And there's two. There's fourth floor. You get up there from either side, but they don't connect, so you have to go separately. Okay. okay. enjoyed that guys um, this is the end of the video this is the end of my time in and around Philadelphia I enjoyed it so I hope you enjoyed it too and I'm hoping the next time I come back we can do some more fun things together maybe even return to this place because there are four floors right and there's just 
so many branches there's so many rooms and it seems like every tiny room opens up into a bigger room so there's just so much to explore here i was actually a little bit scared about getting lost that's why i decided it was time to go especially because i need to get home soon so that my dogs can be happy with me or i can be happy with my dogs really because i'm the one dependent on them but so i will see you in my, my next video which will be up on whenever the next time is okay see you then Thank <laughs> you.